So this problem is given that we have three numbers b plus c over a, c plus a over b and a plus b over c. These three numbers are in arithmetic progression. So using this we need to show that 1 over a, 1 over b and 1 over c are in ap as well as bc, ca and ab are also in ap. So let's begin. First we will start with our given numbers. So we have b plus c over a followed by c plus a over b and a plus b over c. So these three numbers are in a, b. So this would mean that if we consider the second term which is c plus a over b and from it we subtract the first term that is b plus c over a this must be equals to a plus b over c which is the third term and from it we subtract the second term that is c plus a over b. Now let's combine them. We will have a com common denominator of a, b. In the numerator, we have c plus a multiplied to a. That will be c a plus a squared minus. Uh, we have b plus c multiplied to b. That will be negative b squared minus b c. So this will be equals to. So we have uh, c and the common denominator will be c times b. And in the numerator, we have a times b plus b squared minus c squared minus a c. Now, what we'll do, we'll try to simplify this. So let's combine C A and B C by taking C as the common factor. So we'll have C multiplied to A minus B. Then we can combine A squared minus B squared. And this will be simply A minus B times A plus B. Whole divided by A B. This will be equals to so here we will be combining a, b and negative a, c by taking a as the common factor. So we have a multiplied to b minus c plus combining the second and the third terms of b squared minus c squared. This is simply uh, we have b minus c times b plus c divided by c times b. Now what we can do we have two terms in the numerator. So from both the two terms we can take a minus b as the common factor. So we have a minus b so that will get multiplied to so from the first term we are left with c and from the second term we are left with a plus b whole divided by a b and this will be equals to now from these two terms we can take b minus c as the common factor so this will get multiplied to a plus b plus c whole divided by c b now what we can do we can cross out c plus a plus b which is common to both the left hand side and the right hand side and this leaves us with a minus b divided by a b which is equals to b minus c divided by c b now dividing each terms in the numerator with the denominator so this will be 1 over b minus 1 over a it will be equals to 1 over c minus 1 over b and this simply tells it that 1 over a uh, 1 over b and 1 over c these three terms are in arithmetic progression so hence we have successfully showed that whenever we are given the condition that these three numbers are in AP then it follows that 1 over A, 1 over B and 1 over C these are also in AP. Now let's go to the second one. Now what we'll do? We will consider this particular equation A minus B over AB equals to B minus C over CB. What we'll do? We'll multiply with ABC on both sides where ABC multiplied to A minus B divided by AB equals to abc multiplied to b minus c over c b so here a b and a b gets cancelled so we have c times a minus b this will be equals to so b c and b c goes away so we have a times b minus c the further simplification gives us c a minus b c equals to a b minus a c and this particular relationship tells us that b c C, A and A, B, these are the three numbers that are in arithmetic progressions. Hence, we have successfully shown the second part as well.